All you have to do is look at the daily news that comes out of Pictou County, where that community is intensely divided. And what we're seeing right now playing out in that community is a real hornet's nest as people are picking sides between supporting the mill, supporting other groups, and the mill itself saying, we may need an extension because we don't think we can meet the legislated timeline. And the problem, of course, for the Premier and this government is that he really drew a line in the sand by uh, putting the end date in legislation. If they were to change that, they'd have to go back to the House and fight it out on the floor to decide. Stephen McNeil has said he will not alter that legislation without the approval of the local First Nation. And Chief Andrea Paul, as recently as a couple of weeks ago, posted text messages online showing that she turned down an offer to meet with Paper Excellence officials saying there's nothing to talk about. There might be an interesting parallel this week when you look at what happened in Oshawa and the closure of the GM plant and the kind of ripple effects that'll be felt across the country. Uh, when you're looking at Northern Pulp, then you're really talking about a situation where you could have ripple effects across the problem. If there's a difference though, it's that just like the situation Daryl Dexter and his government faced when two paper mills collapsed out of nowhere, the GM news largely came out of nowhere for most people. This situation with Northern Pulp comes as no surprise to anybody. Stephen McNeil and his government passed this legislation in their first mandate. Everybody has had five years notice for this closure, and that means it's been incumbent on the mill to get ready for it, on the workers to get ready for it, and most importantly, I would argue, Stephen McNeil and his government. And I talked to a cabinet minister as recently as this week who said even if uh, Northern Pulp were to close, Paper Excellence would walk away, uh, that as many as five companies would be willing to snap up uh, the, what was left of uh, that business. Well, and that may well be. There comes the big question of does a company want to come in and deal with the contentious situation that's been cultivated there? While everybody's focused on that January 2020 date, the government, meanwhile, no doubt, is also doing contingency planning behind the scenes. And if they haven't been planning, it's at their peril.